How did you get into producing movies? It really was because I go to see a lot of off-Broadway theater when I'm in New York, and many years ago I thought, why am I seeing so much theater in New York and not really focusing on the theater in Los Angeles? LA's got great theater too. So I opened up the newspaper one day and there was this little tiny ad about that big that said, Nia Vardalis is my big fat Greek wedding. And I just thought, being of Greek heritage, that is a very funny title. I will go see this play. And it was at a 99-seat theater. I took my mom, who was alive at the time, and my sister, my nieces, and we saw it, and I thought it was literally one of the funniest things I'd ever seen. It, it, it was just truthful about families and particularly about Greek culture. So I asked to meet Nia at uh, the playwright after the the play was uh, done and she came out and I said, Nia, this would make an amazing movie. And she said, I have a script. And so I said, let me have that script. And I produced another stage production for her and we got the rights to the material and made the first movie. And you have to understand, no one got it. Everyone turned us down. We couldn't get financing. Finally, HBO uh, uh, partnered with us and uh, Gold Circle. And then after the movie was made, we couldn't get a distributor. So, really? yes. And it's interesting to me, like during the casting process, they were like, well, this is wonderful, but who's going to star in it? And we said, well, Nia will star in it. She plays the character, she wrote the script. And people were like, well, what about, and they would offer up other names. And I said, you know, that's really interesting because you probably wouldn't say that if it was Ray Romano or Jerry Seinfeld or men who write their own material. And I just thought it was a little bit sexist in a way. Uh, but we felt strongly that Nia should be the uh, actress as well as the writer. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.